Let's go to Chrissy. I made a Swiss chard and pancetta stuffed agnolotti. The sauce here that you made? Uh, just simple, just simple butter sauce, and I put a little veal reduction over it. I want to keep it simple because I went a little non-traditional with the filling. Good. Thank you. The, the ratio of filling to the dough is, is good. You get a nice mouthful of dough and just enough filling to kind of support it. And the simple sauce goes well with it. I've been watching you long enough. I should know. Uh, have you? <laughs> yeah. All right, good, good. Well, continued success. Thank you. This is like the ultimate validation for me. Lydia, whose dish would you like to taste next, please? Beth. Please. Beth, let's go. Thank you. I'm dreading having to present my dish because there are two scenarios, worst case and worser case. It's ricotta and herbs and watercress and goat cheese. I like the idea of the herb filling and then, of course, the actual pasta being undercooked. That was sad to watch. I would hate to see you go home on this. I would hate to go home because I can't boil water. Right, but I mean, it, it could happen. I know. I uh, wouldn't be surprised at all if it did. Oh. Howard? All right. Walking up, I'm not 100% confident in the dish that I'm bringing up. The plating isn't that great, but hopefully the flavors come together. So what is exactly this stuff? Uh, bell pepper, jalapeno, braised chicken, and then it's spiced with uh, a little cumin. Yeah, cumin is a spice that is not used a lot in pasta making or stuffing. Yeah, what I get here is a mouthful of peppers. Okay. It's not harmonious with a pasta dish like this. Classics work, and they're appreciated time after time. Otherwise, they wouldn't be called classics. Of course. Get a good connection to the basics. Don't just fly off on a wing, OK? I, I, I don't understand. She's been nice to you, but the whole thing with you is you have this very cavalier attitude. You don't know what you're cooking, what dish you're making with 10 minutes left. Then you come up here and get misty-eyed with us, like, oh, poor me again, I got screwed up, and I'm getting tired of it. Because if you were smart, you would duplicate a plate. The fact that you're not even thinking of playing this game properly is really annoying. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna taste this. You want 15 of the same dishes up here? If you're here putting your spin on everything you make because you wanna show us how cutesy and intelligent and crafty you are, well, that's gonna get you a one-way ticket back to wherever you came from. And then you could show your friends and the six people who told you were good how cute and smart you are when you're home cooking at dinner parties while the rest of this group goes on and competes to become the next master chef. So, I want pasta cooked properly because you know what? The only thing worse than a cook who can't boil is a narcissist in full denial. Thank you for nothing. Ah, Joe's just... This is a competition about flair, about finesse, about creativity, not about copying someone else's so you can win a quarter million dollars.